Hi everybody and welcome to this new video. So today I'm going to correct with you a new exercise. It's a mathematical Olympiad exercise of uh, 2000. Um, it's an exercise about uh, an inequality we have to prove here using only simple algebraic modifications on the expressions. It doesn't require to use complex properties or theorems. Of course, don't hesitate to pause the video and give the problem a shot. If you, can, if you could uh, prove the inequality asked in the exercise, don't hesitate to mention your methodology in the comments. Of course, don't hesitate to watch the video till the end if you, didn't, um, if you couldn't uh, prove the inequality, if you could prove the inequality, but uh, to see how I, 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 I correct uh, my methodology. Don't hesitate to subscribe to this channel if you don't, uh, if you're not a follower of the channel and hit the bell in order to get the notifications uh, whenever I post. And let's try, let's start uh, this exercise. So here we have three positive real numbers, A, B and C, such that A, B, C, A times B times C equals one. When, and we have to prove that a minus 1 plus 1 over b times b minus 1 plus 1 over c times c minus 1 plus 1 over a is less or equal to 1. So, correction. The first thing we can actually notice here is that we have like symmetric um, terms in this multiplication. So here, if we take, so first of all, we can suggest, we can suppose, we suppose that the terms a minus one plus one over b, b minus 1 plus 1 over c and c minus 1 plus 1 over a are positive. Okay? Let's suppose that these terms of this multiplications, uh, multiplication are positive. We're going to see the other case um, later. So, here. So, here if we try to use, for example, this term b minus 1 plus 1 over c. Actually, we can factorize by b here. If we factorize by b, we can find b times 1 minus 1 over b plus 1 over b times c. And if we use actually the condition of the exercise, a times b times c equals to 1, we can replace here 1 by a times b times c. So we can find b times 1 minus 1 over b plus a times b times c over b times c. And here we can simplify by b and by c. So this term is equal to b times 1 minus 1 over b plus a. Okay, so here we notice that, that this term actually, there are some similarities between this term, between this um, quantity 1 minus 1 over b plus a and the first term here for, of the multiplication. So, if we calculate if we calculate here a minus 1 plus 1 over b times b minus 1 plus 1 over c we can replace the second um, the second term by b, so here, this term, I can multiply, replace it by b
1 minus 1 times B plus A times A minus 1 plus 1 over B. Okay, so here what, what do we notice? We notice that we have A, A, so we can write it differently. We can write this multiplication B times A plus 1 minus 1 over B times A minus 1 minus 1 over B. Because here, if you factorize by minus, minus 1, here, we can write this multiplication like follows. And here, we can notice um, a remarkable identity, actually. So, this is equal to b times a squared minus 1 minus 1 over b squared. So this multiplication could be written like b times a squared minus 1 minus 1 over b squared. And here, this term actually is less or equal than a squared. So, we can deduce that this term is less than or equal to a squared times b. So, uh, a minus 1 plus 1 over b times b minus 1 plus 1 over c is less than or equal to a squared times b. And actually, a, b, and c are symmet symmetric, so um, we, can, we can prove the same. So here, of course, we can prove uh, by sy symmetry that uh, b minus 1 plus 1 over c times c minus 1 plus 1 over a uh, is uh, less or equal than uh, less than or equal than uh, b squared times c and c minus 1 plus 1 over a times a minus 1 plus 1 over b is less than or equal to c squared times a. So, so we can here deduce that deduce that a minus 1 plus 1 over b times b minus 1 plus 1 over c times c minus 1 plus 1 over a is less than or equal to a b c squared which is equal to 1 actually. So a minus 1 plus 1 over b times b minus 1 plus 1 over c times c minus 1 plus 1 over a is less than or equal to 1 in this case. Okay, so here we have supposed that all these terms are positive, actually. All these terms are positive. So, if we, if we um, suppose here, if we suppose, for example, that a minus 1 plus 1 over b is negative, okay? That means that a plus 1 over b is less than 1, okay? And positive, okay? So if this sum is less than 1, of course a must be less than 1 and 1 over b must also be less than 1. So here a is my is less than 1 and for example and of course 1 over b is less than 1. So a is less than 1 and b must be greater than 1. Okay. In this case we have so 
Of course here, b minus 1, the other terms, b minus 1 plus 1 over c is positive in this case, okay? Because here we have b greater than 1, so b minus 1 is positive and 1 over c is positive. So this term is positive and of course the other term so c minus 1 plus 1 over a is also positive because here as a is less than 1, 1 over a is greater than 1 so this difference 1 over a minus 1 is positive plus c is positive and the sum of two real positive numbers is positive so here we have the, the, the two other terms are positive so here in this case we have only one term in this multiplication which is negative so a minus 1 plus 1 over b times b minus 1 plus 1 over c times c minus 1 plus 1 over a is of course negative so it's obviously uh, less than or equal to 1 and this case is we can suppose each time we have one of these terms uh, negative if we suppose that any of these terms uh, is negative the, um, the multiplication will be, will, will be also negative so the inequality will be true in this case too so that's how we can prove this inequality the exercise wasn't really complicated but it wasn't obvious to to see the factorization by b by a by c in each term and uh, the application of the condition of the exercise it wasn't easy so um, if you did understand and if you enjoyed the video don't hesitate to subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed um, don't hesitate to comment if you enjoyed if you didn't enjoy comment too i'm always open to hearing your suggestions and uh, don't forget to hit the bell in order to get the notifications uh, whenever i post uh, 